The ELA shifts and the math shifts, especially the math shifts, in an effort to try to shift the way that they think about planning, and as a result, shifting the way that they execute. I first had to decide what content area I was going to start with, because I knew that I did not have the capacity to do everything. So I used the data from the previous year. I started with math because I was a math teacher. The asset of I have some invested teachers, along with the deficit of the data wasn't where it needed to be. So started there offered up a opportunity for a group of three teachers to sit down, go through the Engage New York curriculum, and build out assessments, lesson plans, activities, et cetera, based off of the Engage New York materials and our North Carolina Essential Standards. So then when we started school, the first thing that they did was they taught it to the rest of their PLC. And then from there began the execution process. The first change that I saw was around planning. What they were doing in the planning time was significantly different to me. So previously, the planning time would be, okay, um, we have to teach this on this day. Okay, we have to teach this on this day. Um, and what it turned into was, I don't really know how to teach that. <laughs> or we have to construct an assessment question because it doesn't exist. Actually going back and looking at these performance tasks and saying, okay, in order for my kid to, at the end of the week, do this, what do they need to know how to do? Do I even know how to do that? Let's have a discussion about that. That intellectual discourse was not happening before. It also raised for me this problem around time, like they just did not have enough time. So it was this question of how do I navigate that and where can I find time for them? I would do like instructional planning days where I would just get a sub for them for two blocks of the day, shifting a structure in order to help them be able to have in-depth conversations about, about curriculum. The second thing I saw in their instructional delivery when I walked into classrooms was the level of quality in terms of the types of questions that they were asking their students. And I think it's because they spent time digging into what is the content asking me to do and do I understand it? Okay, now that I do, how do I get my students to understand it? And what are the types of questions that I want to ask? 